All right, YouTube, so we are back with something different. Uh, we are talking the Silent Hill series, which is a franchise I'm absolutely a massive fan of. It's actually something we've talked about a bit, but over on the second channel, which the second channel we haven't even used in quite a long time at this point, we'll get back to it eventually. But when I first created that channel, like the first couple of videos I put out on that channel were Silent Hill related. And honestly, I couldn't even remember what those videos are about, so when I went to the second channel to look at them. What we talked about in those videos over two years ago is precisely what we're talking about today. So it seems like we were already on top of the information more than two years ago. So what we're talking about today is Christoph Gans. Christoph Gans was the guy that directed the first Silent Hill movie. And say what you will about the movie, I still believe it to be one of the best, if not the best, like video game adaptations. It gets some of the shit wrong, of course. Like back in the day when I first watched the movie, I was just a fan of it. You know, I wasn't super into the franchise. I realize nowadays that like the use of Pyramid Head is kind of sacrilegious, which the future video games would also go on to do, right? Of course, if you're a Silent Hill fan, you already know this, but when it comes to Silent Hill 2, Pyramid Head was very specific to the character of James Sunderland and his need to be punished. So I understand why the use of it in the movie doesn't really make any goddamn sense, right? And there's other flaws of the movie too. But I think ultimately, if you're just talking about a video game movie that is still entertaining, but still acknowledges the lore and stuff from the games, I think it does a pretty good job compared to a lot of other video game movies out there. Silent Hill Revelation, however, is a complete trash dumpster fire and I fucking hate it. But what we're talking about Christoph Gons is that it's been rumored for a while now that he's going to come back to make another Silent Hill movie, right? This has been known for a couple months now, as far back as like June of this year. Now, here's the thing. The rumor of him making a new Silent Hill movie has actually been out there for quite a while. That's what we talked about over two years ago on the second channel. But even back then, it was coming directly from Christoph Gons. He was in an interview with like a French website, Alice Scene, or however you say it. He said that he's working on a Fatal Frame movie and also a new Silent Hill movie. And I actually completely forgot that that's where the rumor came from. Because I remember doing a video about him coming back to make a movie. But that's been so long ago. I haven't watched that video in a long ass time. So it's actually been for two plus years now. Christoph Gons has been the one saying that he's coming back to make a new Silent Hill movie. So it's never been like some random guy on like Reset Era or 4chan or Twitter or Reddit or some shit. right? That knows somebody that knows somebody that works at Konami that says he's coming back. It's always been from the director himself. And the recent rumor from this year of him coming back to make a Silent Hill movie is from him as well. And he talks about working on it and that it could be out as early as 2023 and that the script is completely independent from the first two movies. Which is kind of bittersweet just because I did enjoy the first movie, but they already tried a sequel and it was absolute dog shit, right? But then again, you know, Silent Hill Revelation wasn't Christoph Gons. It was somebody else entirely, right? So the part of me would like to see a, an actual follow-up to the first movie if he had an idea for that or wanted to do that, how he would have handled it. The first movie by itself... The ending doesn't really leave an opening for a second movie, so it's kind of weird they even did a sequel anyways. I'm going to throw up a bit of a spoiler warning here, just in case you haven't seen the movies and plan to watch them at some point, because I'm going to spoil the ending of the first movie and the beginning of the second movie. But the first movie ends with Rose and Sharon trapped in like this fog dimension, essentially still trapped in like the Silent Hill world or whatever the case. And Christopher is alone, has no idea what happened to them. Uh, can kind of sense them to a certain degree because the front door of the house opens. But the second movie opens up with like Rose... Just finding like an amulet or some shit that allows her to get Sharon back to the real world. But for some reason, she still stays stuck there. She can't come with the child to the real world. But also, she doesn't. there's no explanation for how she got that, where she got it, why she's talking to Christopher through a fucking mirror. It just goes unexplained. It's just so terrible. So presumably, if Christoph Gans had a sequel idea, it would have to be better than how they explain shit away with Revelation. Plus, Revelation just has so much other bad things about it, like the character of Vincent in that movie is nothing like Vincent from Silent Hill 3. Fuck, I hate this movie. But putting that shit aside, because he's not doing a sequel to the first movie, otherwise he'd probably say that in interviews, the newer script that's not associated with the first and second movie, I wonder if it's a brand new story that's just set in the town of Silent Hill, which is probably the safer bet, or would he be trying to adapt one of the video games again? And at this point, I think you'd probably do Silent Hill 2, just because it's the most popular. And that's only assuming that he's trying to adapt one of the games into a movie. Because if you're trying to do Silent Hill 4 and beyond, I don't know how much hype there'd be for it. Just because Silent Hill 4 I, is my personal favorite in the franchise. But I get why it's polarized and a little bit mixed. But it's the last decent Silent Hill game in the franchise. If you're doing like a Silent Hill Homecoming or Downpour or Shattered Memories or whatever the case movie, I don't think anybody would give a fuck. That being said though, in defense of Silent Hill 4, if they were to tweak the story a bit and don't try to just strictly follow what happens in the video game... You'd almost have like a 1408, which is a fantastic horror movie where a guy's just trapped in a room the, essentially the entire time, but you'd obviously want to add in like the Silent Hill elements and stuff like that. So I've been wanting to talk about that for a little bit, right? Christoph Gans further confirming that he's making a Silent Hill movie and that it could be out as soon as next year, which would be pretty damn cool, man. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's decent. It's got to be better than Revelation, right? The other interesting news here, again, coming from Christoph Gans with the recent interview, is that according to him, Konami's working on multiple Silent Hill games. And that's, this is debatably the bigger news, obviously. 
So he says, I'm working with Silent Team, which is supposed to be Team Silent, obviously. The original creators at Konami, there are several games in development as we speak. There are several teams on it with a big line of games that will revive the franchise. I think they were really impressed at the success of the remakes of Resident Evil that are evidently exceptional games. So that quote's interesting for a couple of reasons. For one, he says that they're working on multiple games, so that's obviously interesting because there's been rumors for a while about a new Silent Hill game, but according to him, there's multiple. But also that he's collaborating with Team Silent, or at least some of the members of the original Team Silent, which Team Silent were the people that made the first three to technically four Silent Hill games, but it was mostly just the, the first trilogy that was the actual straight-up Team Silent. I think there's some like members moved around here and there, but generally speaking, when you're talking about Team Silent, it's the first three to four games. Now, the wording's a little bit weird here because it is translated from French, but I think what he's saying here is that he's maybe working with Team Silent on the movie that he's making, but also he seems to maybe be insinuating that Team Silent, or at least the people that they have working on this shit from the original Team Silent, uh, are maybe also working on the games as well, which is kind of cool. Now, I'm not entirely sure who these Team Silent members are, but my hopeful wish here is, of course, you want to have Akira Yamaoka making music because good motherfucking God made some of the best video game music of all time. You want Masahiro Ito, of course, his art and, you know, enemy concepts and shit when it came to, like, some of the Silent Hill games is insanely good. And then, obviously, Hiroyuki Owaku is a fantastic writer for the series. We can keep naming some names, but it'd essentially just be me blowing the dev team from Silent Hill 2 because that's exactly who I want making the next game. Now, according to Christoph Gons, the Team Silent that he's talking about was the people that he met while he's making the first movie. Now, the first movie came out in 2006, but also Christoph Gons has been interested in making a Silent Hill movie as far back as 2001, so I'm not entirely sure who the Team Silent is that he's talking about. Now, when it comes to the movie, it was not greenlit until 2003, and principal photography didn't start until 2005, but in between both of those years is Silent Hill 4 in 2004. So it's at least that iteration of Team Silent, which still has Akira Yamaoka, so hopefully he's involved in making the music, at the very least with whatever these upcoming potential games are. And to further add on to this, the interviewer pressed Gons for more info, and he further, air quotes, confirmed that Bloober Team is in fact working on Silent Hill, and that they're making the Silent Hill 2 remake, which we have some leaked images for, whether or not they're legit, I don't entirely know. I can't show them here, because if they are legit leaks, then that could obviously get the video taken down. But if you're a fan of the series, you've seen those images a while back anyways. But it's also interesting that he's confirming that Bloober Team's doing this because that's been a rumor for a long time, that Bloober Team was working on some sort of Silent Hill game, right? And it's been, like, again, air quotes, debunked some time ago. I don't remember the full story. I was going to cover it on, like, the second channel. I just kind of never got around to it because everybody else was already on top of it. But the thing is, we have, like, insiders and leakers and stuff out there that talk about Silent Hill stuff all the time. But the thing is, Christoph Gons is, like, somebody that's at least close to the franchise. Now, whether or not he's actually making a movie, it's hard to say... I don't want to say that the dude's, like, lying, but is he cloud chasing? Because he's just trying to, like, be in the news and maybe trying to get another fucking director role? Because the guy ain't made shit except for Beauty and the Beast in 2014 after Silent Hill in 2006, right? The guy ain't been directing shit that I can find. So is he not, is he just cloud chasing or is this shit legit? Is he making another Silent Hill movie? Because we were talking about it a couple years ago and we're just not hearing about it again now. He also has all this inside information on the franchise in terms of them making a bunch of games. And how is he talking about all this shit and Konami's allowing it if it's true? Like, because Konami ain't talked about the Silent Hill franchise in how long, right? They've just been making Pachiko machines and all this other shit. Here and there, you get, like, a, a, a Dead by Daylight fucking collab or whatever. Ain't, they ain't been doing shit with the franchise. And my guys over here, for the past couple of years in interviews, like, hell yeah, make another Silent Hill movie. Hell yeah, they're making some more games. Fuck yeah. You heard about Blooper Team? They're making the Silent Hill 2 remake. Did you hear about that as well? Like, this guy just, he's just saying it all. Like, he ain't hiding shit. So, like, it's just a little bit strange to me. If it is all true that he's just able to do this without Konami themselves talking about it or confirming it or anything. Or like you would think there's like a DMCA on this shit or there could be some legal trouble that you could get into for talking about it when it's not like public information. Like I don't know. There's just weird shit to this. Right? It's not that I don't think the guy's trustworthy. I don't know enough about him to even really have an opinion on that shit. But like if they are making some more Silent Hill games like that would be super top secret. You want it to be a big reveal. And this guy's just out there talking about it to whoever the fuck wants to hear it. That being said, I've always been a believer that there will be another Silent Hill game eventually. I don't know what it's going to be. And with the resurgence, like he said in the interview, of like the Resident Evil series of them remaking those older games, it kind of leans credence to the idea of there being a Silent Hill 2 remake, and Konami's all about the motherfucking money, so... To further add on to the idea of there being upcoming Silent Hill games, though, there was a trademark filed in Korea recently for something called Silent Hill The Short Message, but this could be anything. It is Konami we're talking about. It's Ko-Money we're talking about. It could be a pachinko machine. It could be some sort of, like, stupid-ass spin-off, like Book of Shit, or some you know, microtransaction-laden mobile game, but then it could also just be an actual remake of, like, Silent Hill 2 or something, or some brand new iteration in the series for modern consoles. Who knows what it is. What all this really comes down to is how trustworthy is Christoph Gans? Because my guy is divulging all the info, but is any of it true? I guess that remains to be seen. So kind of a TLDR on the video, we have yet another rumor of some upcoming Silent Hill games. Those are always fun. But at least it's coming from somebody that's 
to a certain degree attached to the franchise. And it's not just some guy on Twitter, right? So who knows? Well, it just remains to be seen. If we don't get another Silent Hill, we haven't had a silent, good Silent Hill in a long ass fucking time anyways. So I can't be hurt anymore, right? My heart is only so broken. But that's going to be the video, my dudes. So hopefully you enjoyed If you did, give a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We did more occasional Silent Hill videos. We might start doing in the future. If people enjoyed this shit, turn on notifications. Follow me on Twitter. I'm going to score links. So are in the description. In the outro. Later, guys. In my restless dreams, I see that. Fuck Facebook. I used to care what people thought. But now I care more. I and mean, nobody out here's got it figured out. So therefore, I've lost all hope of a happy ending. Depending on whether or not it's worth it. So insecure, no one's perfect. We spend it with no shame. We blow that. Like old train, we in here. Like low gain or leave it. Like old bang.